Dan here at Sugar Tree Run. Today we're going to show you how to make a maple stir. Maple stirs are pretty easy to make and they don't take too much time. Let's go over some of the basics. First you're going to need a stainless steel pot to heat your maple syrup up in. You're going to want to get a candy thermometer and boil that until it reaches 235 degrees. Then you're going to remove it from the heat, let it cool to 175. When you can start to dump it into a bowl, or multiple bowls and stir for about five minutes until it sets up into a creamy delicious maple treat. We're going to go ahead and get started. We'll pick this video back up once our syrup has reached temperature. Okay so we've got the maple syrup in the pot and it's starting to heat up. Got our candy thermometer here checking for the temperature. We're only at 95 degrees. And we'll see you back here when we're getting close to 235. Now as you start to bring this up to temperature, you're going to notice that it's going to foam up a lot. You've got to be very careful here not to have this overflow your pot. So whether you change your temperature slightly and turn your burner down um, to, to do that, to make sure that it doesn't boil over, okay? But you're going to need to continue to steam this and boil it until it reaches 235. We're actually using a CDN digital candy thermometer, uh, and this works pretty well. It actually has the ability to set uh, the temperature, and you can see I can adjust that. And it, it will actually sound an alarm when it's three degrees away from your target temperature. Okay, you can see we're getting close to 235. The alarm is sounding. Just uh, another degree here. Okay, we're up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn this off and we're gonna let this cool down to 175 now. And then that's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. So we'll come back in and check on this at that point. Okay, we've cooled down to 175 degrees, so now we're ready to pour it in our bowls. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit in each bowl. Okay, and then we're going to start stirring. Okay, so we're going to stir for about probably three to five minutes until this starts to set up. You'll see it start to change color. It'll turn a little bit lighter color as it starts to crystallize. <laughs> okay, we've just continued to stir here and you can see it's starting to change a little bit. Lightening and thickening. Okay, so this is getting pretty close to being done here. You can see it's getting a, a real creamy, thick texture to it. And we're going to keep stirring for a couple more minutes. Okay, so we've just continued to stir, and you can see it's starting to thicken up pretty good, getting pretty creamy. Just about there. Okay, we're just about done here, and you can stop here when it's kind of creamy, like this, or you can actually go a little bit further and have it set up more. I'm going to just continue a small amount more. Okay, so this is pretty much set up at this point. You can kind of shape it if you want and then you can eat and enjoy. Okay this is our finished product maple stir. We're eating it. You can see it's really soft and creamy. 
and it's got a very smooth texture to it in your mouth, um, almost like a light fudge. The nice maple stir. Thanks again for watching Sugar Tree Run. Please like our videos below and subscribe to our channel. And more importantly, enjoy a maple stir soon. Thanks again.